Okay, I'm going to go back to the uh, basics and not the formula. So I'm kind of looking at it, and I'm just going to keep rewriting that root until I see something. And I'm seeing 18 minus, oh, I definitely get an I. And then I see uh, the, the 28, which has a 4 in it. So I get a 10. The square root of 4 is 2. And then I get a 7. I want to keep rewriting it because I like to get a multiple of 2 of that uh, root problem. So 18 minus 2i. And so I get a 5. So on the inside is a 25. And 25 times 7 is 175. So I'm going to write down what I believe it could be written as root A minus root B. I just don't know what they are, I. What I'm going to do is square both sides. I get 18 minus 2I root 175 equals, let's be careful here, it's going to be A. And then I would get minus B. Let me just make sure that's true, because square the a, root a, you get a. Square the uh, other term, which would be give you bi squared. So minus b. And then what I get, minus 2 root a, b, i. Well, let's write down what I think I have, which is a minus b equals 18. And, I'm sorry, a times b. I'm just equating things that are unknown to me that seem reasonably to equate. So I'm looking at that, and I'm wondering what those two numbers are. And that looks fairly simple. It looks like 25 uh, and minus 7. This is the A, and this is the B. Well, we got something unusual here, don't we? Oh, I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. It's plus 7. My mistake. I was going to say we had something very unusual I wasn't expecting. So um, 25 times 7 um, is 175, and 25 minus 7 is certainly 18. All right? Let's write this down then. Then we'll look at the key. Well, maybe not look at the key yet. We have to still simplify. So I believe A is, is um, 25, so that's root 25. And I believe the B is 7. And what do I get here? 5 minus 7. I'm sorry, root 7i. I'm going to put that in the answer. I want to get my red pen out and see how we did. Again, they're using the formula over here, but I'm not using the formula. And I'm seeing that right there. Not bad. Thank you.